Good morning folks, Maddie here with a Wednesday morning reflection for Holy Week. The scripture that I've been given is Luke 22 verses 54 to the end. Um, this is the part of the story where Jesus is led to the home of the high priest by the chief priests and the elders and the officers of the temple guard. And Peter follows along at a distance. At first he stands back a little bit and then they start to kindle a fire and Peter comes into the middle of that scene, enters the house of the high priest and starts to warm himself at the fire alongside Jesus's enemies. And I really wondered reading that passage of scripture, what it must have felt like for Peter warming himself at this stolen fire, uh, warming himself alongside people who are either indifferent to who Jesus is or who are actively plotting to kill him. And as Peter sits there and waits there and waits to see what will happen, he just gently warms himself and comforts himself through this dark night. We know that he's going to go along uh, later and betray Jesus vocally as people start to suss out that he's a Galilean and one of Jesus's disciples. But before that happens, he's just sitting there warming himself. It really made me pause and I wondered how he felt. What was it like? Did he feel like a traitor before he'd uttered any words? Um, what would have happened if he'd said something different, if he had owned up to knowing Jesus? And what would the rest of his day be like as he left that courtyard and went outside and shed his bitter tears outside the house? I wonder.